Hello, in this video we're going to take this quasi-linear utility function as a function of units of good x and good y and solve for the ordinary demands or Marshallian demands and then also get the indirect utility function. So here's our consumer's quasi-linear utility function. The budget constraint M is income, price of good x, price of good y, x is units of good x, y is units of good y. So we are first going to um, solve for the budget constraint here. Uh, I'm going to solve for the budget constraint for y. So taking this budget constraint, I'm going to solve it for y. So subtracting the price of good x times x uh, from both sides gives us this result. And then let's divide through by the price of good y. So when I have this result, I'm going to put it into the utility function. So I'm going to substitute uh, the above equation into the utility function. And here we have utility as a function of one variable x. So this will make maximizing somewhat easy. We're just going to take the derivative or partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x, set that equal to 0, and then solve for x. So rewriting our utility function. And now taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x and setting that result equal to 0. So the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. And then the derivative of the remainder of this stuff in the utility function is just minus the price of good x over the price of good y. And like I said, we're going to solve this for x. So 1 over x equals the price of good x divided by the price of good y. Multiplying both sides through by x, and then multiplying both sides through by the price of good y divided by the price of good x leaves us with the ordinary demand for good x. Notice income is not a part of the ordinary demand for good x. That is somewhat unusual. Uh, here is our budget constraint once again. If we plug in for x, the price of good y divided by the price of good x, and then solve for y. Notice the price of good x terms cancel here. Solving this then for the price of good y. So from the last slide, we had m equals the price of good y plus the price of good y times units of y. Subtracting the price of y, good y from both sides leaves us with this result, dividing through by the price of good y we have the ordinary demand for good y. Rewriting our ordinary demand for good x, which we just found. Plugging both of these results into the utility function. So here's our utility function for x. I'm going to plug in the price of good y divided by the price of good x. And for y, I'm going to plug in just ordinary demand for good y. So doing that and then changing u to say v, We'll call that our indirect utility function. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.